Hey Eric, I was just in the kitchen and washing my dish from having some oatmeal this morning and it was that moment that I realized I have disposable bowls. What am I doing washing a bowl? And then I was like, wait, if I use the disposable bowl, that would be as good for the environment. And that got me thinking about modern conveniences and how the fact that I've got a microwave and a toaster oven and a toaster and a blender and an ice maker and two coffee makers. Why do I need two coffee makers? And then that led into this whole thought process about modern conveniences and the fact that convenience seems to be at odds with everything, like security. I've talked about this a lot before. Hi, Sarah. And that, you know, two-factor authentication, way better than not using two-factor authentication and the same thing with using like a different password on every site uh, except it's not convenience and and then I thought about the fact that we're in a culture of convenience and we're kind of willing to trade most anything for that convenience like media for example and I'm no audiophile but I'll tell you you know CDs I didn't think there was anything wrong with them but mp3s sound like garbage but we've all traded for them because you can have that instant gratification and the same thing holds true with like blu-ray versus Netflix and I can say that because I've got DSL and you should see the 360p we get here. So uh, freedom, freedom for example, I could be in Anchorage, Alaska in six hours. I would just have to go to the airport and let the TSA root through my bag. And the more I think about these conveniences, the more I realize like how complex this really is. And all of these little examples, they're so disjointed and great and I love them and I want people to share these little examples, uh, but I can't come to terms with whether or not that's good or bad or why I need to even rationalize it with a label so black and white anyway. And so I know they're not all bad. I mean, I love running water. I love sewage. I love those modern conveniences. In fact, if I were a colonial American uh, back when we were growing up in Williamsburg, I would have died back in season four of Hack 5. So you know, like many things, I'm conflicted about it, but I embrace that conflict. And while it's a little bit more work for me to do the dishes, I don't think I'm going to be ordering paper plates anymore. Anyway, wish you were well. Hope you were here.